ASU fans certainly enjoying themselves from watch parties and local bars. ABC 15's Vet and Blanded caught up with some of them tonight. Even more than 1,800 miles away from the Valley of the Sun Wednesday, people in Dayton, Ohio felt the sun devil's heat. And here at Boondocks in Tempe, the crowd brought the energy. This was the first time we've been to the in the tournament since I've been at ASU, so this is definitely like a big game for us. It's like our Super Bowl. ASU senior Cameron McGee and his friends watching the Sun Devils take down the Wolf Pack of Nevada. We chatted near the end of the game's first half. Uh, this is honestly like a picture perfect half for us. Like I haven't seen I haven't seen ASU play like this all season, so the fact that we squeaked into this tournament and that we're playing this good, I'm I'm excited for the the round of 64 if we make it there. And now that they've advanced, Mike Nelson hopes it just keeps getting better from here. Like the past couple seasons have been anything but great, but I think this is a you know a, a look in the good direction. A few miles from Boondocks and at the Sun Devils football stadium, students celebrating achievements and in innovation stepped aside to watch the game inside the Founders Club. And I'm from Illinois, so I've always kind of watched the Illini basketball team. And they were doing good for a bit, and they kind of fell off. And now that I'm in college, I'm super excited to root for ASU. Lindy Bresner is a freshman and is soaking it all in. ASU senior Andrew Kaltoff says he can't wait to see what the 11th seed ASU does against the 6th seed TCU. Oh, it's it's through the roof. Uh, if there was if there wasn't a ceiling on this uh, this building, I'd be through the roof right now. Dominating the first game is a great start to ASU's tournament journey. In Tempe, Vincent Bland at ABC 15, Arizona.